Hi. Wait, this isn't animation. Yes, it is. It's just hyper realistic. That's why I've taken so long to make this video. Skillshare? What's that? I'm glad you asked. Skillshare is an online community for creators with over 22,000 classes for video making, productivity, and more. It's great for anyone who wants to develop their skills in a specific field. But Kat, I want to learn more about animation. Just the programs are so expensive. I mean, the programs you use cost $1,000 alone just for the license. Well, for those of you who don't have animation as a job, I would highly recommend the app Flip a Clip. It's totally free and it's available on iOS and Android. Plus, there's an amazing Skillshare class at Alley Animation. It's called Animate for Free on iPad Flip a Clip Beginner Course. It has all the basics of an animation program and it's really great if you want to practice animation without spending a lot of money on animation programs. Premium membership begins around $10 a month, but for the first 350 people who use the link in the description, you get it for two months for free. These spots typically go quite quickly, so make sure you get there first. Happy learning! Elementary school is a magical place to send the growing youth to a place that will crush your spirits and make you wish you were never born. I have always hated school, and though elementary school was considerably easier, I couldn't help but feel like I was wasting my time. Kindergarten was by far my favorite year. I loved my teacher and we got two recesses a day, which was frickin' sweet! However, whenever we got nap time, I would crave the sweet embrace of death. I found nap time to be incredibly boring. I was a paranoid insomniac as a child, so I literally never slept, not even at night. So having an hour of time dedicated to sleeping when we could be doing something better, like, I don't know, recess, really grinded my gears. So I ended up complaining about it to my mother, and she called the teacher and told her about my complaints, and the teacher responded by letting me sit by her desk during nap time and draw the entire hour. I literally created hundreds of drawings that year. I would make up stories and draw them, and it became one of my favorite things to do. I mean, sure, every kid in the class hated me and bullied me because I got special privileges they didn't, but I swear I would never have gotten into art as much as I did without the special privilege in kindergarten. This channel wouldn't exist without the hour of art blasting I got to do during kindergarten. So I had grown accustomed to a good teacher. I was comfortable and happy and was not at all prepared for the jarring jump to a ruthless dictator that was first grade. This teacher, let's call her Mrs. Satan. So Mrs. Satan was not meant to be a first grade teacher. I think she hated small children, which is fine. Kids can be annoying sometimes. But if you are already predisposed to disliking being around children, why on earth would you become a first grade teacher? That's like being allergic to flowers and going out into the meadow, slowly dying and being like, this is fine. Before I go on, I have to explain a tradition first graders did every Friday. We would have this thing every Friday called Treasure Box, where we could pick out a toy from this box to keep, and it made living under her strict zero-tolerance rule bearable. However, she had a scale which was placed on the board, and if any of us broke any type of rule, she would move it a little bit to the left. If we reached all the way to the left, we as a class would not get Treasure Box. So, in theory, this is okay, but she got off on moving the scale to the left. If we misspelled words, we'd move to the left. If we pronounced words wrong, we'd move to the left. If we asked what she deemed was a dumb question, we'd move to the left. If we were too excited for recess, we'd move to the left. If we did math wrong, we'd move to the left. And there was absolutely no way to move it back to the right. I hope you're noticing a pattern here. Basically, Mrs. Satan was punishing children for making honest mistakes while trying to learn, while at the same time making us feel stupid because she was a sadistic demon that loved seeing misery in children's eyes. I remember being super stressed out going to school and trying my gosh darn hardest not to destroy the little glimmer of hope that was the treasure box. We didn't even get mad at each other when one of us would make the scale move because it was easy as balls to move it. We used to have these journals in which we would spend hours spelling words. I'm not kidding. We'd take up entire days sitting in absolute silence because if you dare make a sound, the scale would move, spelling lists and lists of words. This wouldn't be as bad if we didn't hear the other class literally right next to ours singing songs and playing games. If our first grade teacher was Satan, the other teacher was Jesus Christ meets the Easter Bunny meets 20 pounds of sugar. According to the other class, they were awarded with candy, got help from the teacher when they asked, and were even allowed to talk during downtime in class. Sometimes, if we disappointed Mrs. Satan in any way, we would spend recess sitting in timeout watching the other class playing and having fun. I can't tell you the absolute hell that is getting recess taken away. It's literally the only good part of the day. One time during one of our classic, you are not allowed to talk or do anything for half an hour times, a kid in my class farted. 
I don't know what Miss Satan was expecting a group of six-year-olds to do because we all started giggling. Mm. By the power invested in me by the Dark Lord Lucifer, I now sentence thee to no treasure box effective immediately. No. No, 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 no. Why? One time I was taking a test and I came across the word purpose. As a young whippersnapper, I had never seen that word in writing before and I didn't know the meaning. I raised my hand and asked the teacher, Um, can you read this for me? Normally, any mentally stable person with an ounce of common sense would obviously help the tiny child and read it. I mean, it's a seven-year-old. You're not even giving them the answer. You're just reading the word for them. So what did Mrs. Satan do? She got mad at me, and then she said you wouldn't read the word and told me to figure it out on my own. I remember almost crying. I was such a perfectionist as a child, and if I didn't get an A on something, it would ruin my day. So I ended up guessing, and got the question right. Suck my Mrs. Satan. I can't remember a single day where we got treasure box come to think of it. I actually have some journals from my first grade year, so if you would like me to make a video about those, let me know. Anyway, she sucked, school sucks, and I cannot wait to graduate high school.